Hello, hello. This is Eleanor Rose, and today I'd like to talk about the topic of overwhelm. Something we all forget about models, even those of us who are models, is that we're actually human. So what this means is that we're still susceptible to things like stress, depression, anxiety, family issues, personal issues. Any number of things can crop up in our lives that make us tired or anxious or simply unable to deal with everything that we feel like we need to handle right now. In other words, overwhelm. No matter the cause, overwhelm is going to happen. There are ways to prevent it, but in this video I'd like to look at what to do if you are currently in a state of overwhelm, because that causes a lot of panic and anxiety, and often one of two choices is made, to either curl up in bed and cry and ignore the world and everything that needs doing, or to go into super hardcore businesswoman mode and try to mash out everything we need to do, regardless of how stressful or how long it's going to take or what the toll it's going to take on us is, mentally or physically. So, if you're currently in a state of overwhelm, here are my tips. First of all, Regardless of whether you're trying to do computer work at home or whether you are at a shoot, if you're experiencing overwhelm, take a moment to stop and think about when the last time was that you drank some water or ate. It's not a cure-all, but often just taking the time to replenish your body can be a first step of self-care that helps calm it down and take it out of the flight or flight mode that we often encounter when we get overwhelmed. And if you're at a shoot, taking a quick two minute water break is not going to interrupt the flow of the shoot and it can help you recollect yourself. A bite to eat never helps either. Try to keep something on hand, especially when you're shooting, that is a quick, easy snack that is healthy, nutritious, preferably something that gives a quick boost of energy without causing a sugar crash later, and can be eaten without messing up lipstick or leaving chunks in teeth. What this is varies for person to person, I know that a lot of us carry around soybeans, um, edamame is good. I used to really like chocolate covered soybeans until I tried to cut the sugar out. Um, but there's any number of things. Some uh, granola bars work really well if they don't have big chunks that stay or if you're able to wash it down with water. So figure out something that works for you and keep it on hand because just that act of feeding yourself can be a huge, huge help. Secondly, if you are able to, take a 15 minute break. Regardless of whether you think you can afford it or not, I promise you, you can afford it. You will work better, more efficiently, and more quickly when you come back. If you're not at a shoot, take a 15 minute break. If you're working under a deadline, and are sure you can't afford that 15 minutes, take five. Now, here are the rules. Get off the screens. Leave your computer and your cell phone where they are. Go take a walk. If you can't walk, step outside. Get in some fresh air. If that's too overwhelming, find a puzzle. Write for five minutes. Paint. I really like Buddha boards. I keep a mini Buddha board with me to doodle with it. Um, you'll have to look them up. They're really cool. But do something that allows your brain to relax. And often this is something creative, something engaging like a puzzle or game. But remember, stay off the screen. 
Give your brain that break, your eyes that break. Or get in that fresh air, go walk. Movement is often a good way to slip into a meditative state, which is hugely relaxing and restful for the brain. Which leads us into a third point. If it works for you, meditation can be crucial in helping with a state of overwhelm. Now, if you've never done it before, it can sound daunting. I know that when I first started, I was terrified of the idea of just sitting and trying to not think for 15 minutes, which is why I hugely do not recommend that you sit and try not to think. What I have done is I've downloaded a few 20 minute guided visualization meditations onto my phone that I can listen to when I need to relax. And those walk me through a meditation that keeps my brain just engaged enough that it doesn't wander while still putting me in that rested state. Something else that's really important if you practice it, if you find yourself in a state of overwhelm, ground yourself. Grounding can mean different things to different people. It can be a meditation grounding or it can mean taking off your shoes and socks and really feeling your feet on the floor so that you reestablish that connection with your body and the earth. So if you're not familiar with it, do some research and find a type of grounding that works well for you because it is hugely helpful if you're in that state of anxiety, panic, stress, overwhelm. There are so many things that you can do to help yourself, but the key really is to take those few minutes to replenish your body, give it food, water, rest, a bathroom break, and re-establish your connection to your body. Re-establish a center. Ground yourself, center yourself. Take that brief break, and then when you move back into work, if you're shooting, really focus on the creative flow. Really focus on the energy and the movement. Give yourself permission to not have to engage in small talk if that is not comfortable for you right now. If you're working on computer work or housework, the biggest tip I can give you is prioritize. Having a huge cluttered to-do list is terrifying, and often you just do things in the order that they're on the list in. I encourage you to look up a good list app on your phone. Separate your lists. Have a list specifically for computer work you need to do for modeling. Have a list for housework. Have a list for errands. Have a list of personal to-dos segment things so that if you're working on your modeling right now, you're not also looking at a list of everything you need to do around your house and all those errands you need to go run because that just causes more stress and anxiety. Now, once you have them separated that way or even on paper have pulled out what you need to do for whatever it is you're working on right now, pick the top one to three things that you need to get done prioritize. Don't look at that list of 10 things and tell yourself you have to do them all right now because the chances are that you're creating busy work for yourself. Those don't actually all have to be done right now. Most of them could wait a day or two or even a week or two. So pick what is it that you need to do right now? What is it that is creating that sense of urgency? Are you trying to advertise your latest trip or your next trip to wherever, your next tour. If it's a multi-stop tour, perhaps right now you just need to create travel announcements for the next two stops and put the rest of the trip off until tomorrow. Because if you're in a state of anxiety and overwhelm, forcing yourself to do everything is going to result in probably so much stress that you won't be able to function tomorrow and potentially in shoddy work. 
So it's better to focus on just do one or two things that are manageable and to make sure that they get done and they get done well. Then give yourself rest, take another break. I recommend taking breaks every 90 minutes. 90 minutes of work, 15 minute break. 90 minutes of work, 15 minute break. It actually helps prevent that overwhelm. But focus on taking care of yourself first. Break things down into manageable pieces and prioritize. Normally, I aim, I have a list of six intentions of what I'm going to do for the day, six things on my list that I'm going to focus on. If I'm depressed or anxious or in a state of overwhelm, that list is only one to three pieces because I've found that that is the most I can handle when I'm in that state. So cut everything else out. If you have a million emails to get back to, a million messages on Model Mayhem, cut them down to the ones that are crucial that you answer them immediately. If somebody's asking if you ever plan to visit Australia, unless you have an Australia trip next month, you can push that off a few days. If you're worried about them seeing that you have read their message but haven't responded, because some photographers do forget that we're human and get hundreds of messages a day or a week, sign up to have Model Mayhem send the text of the messages to your email so that you can read them on your email and only open them when you're ready to answer. But pare it down. Only do the essentials. Minimize and break things into manageable chunks. And remember to take care of yourself. Please believe me, this is essential. Deep breath. Take a moment. Drink some water. And go rock it. I know you can do it. See you next time.